Alright, what's good boys? I'm back in my favorite game on Roblox to be from Test Realm. And by my favorite game, I mean the game that gets me the most amount of views. But hey, that's beyond the point. So pretty much in this video, I will be making the perfect mix hive. But before I do that, I want to bring a heartwarming message to this channel. Alright, so my goal of Beastworm is to hit 100k subs, so that's why for every single subscriber that I get, I'll be wasting 1 billion honey inside the main game. So say I get 1000 subs, I'll have to waste 1 trillion honey. So yeah, a like and sub with notifications will be greatly appreciated. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do in any single test realm video is get all buffs, get my science enhancement, tabby love, and the polar power, and now gotta auto claim badges. Thing I hate the most, because it makes so much noise and yeah now that i got every single item in the game times a hundred thousand i can start building the hive but before that let's get some tools real quick so step one i'll just do all the event bees because if you didn't know all the event bees are very good for any single hive no matter what color you are except if you're a specific hive color that didn't really make sense but it made sense in my head i right, so let me just get all the bees even the puppy bee this time People are telling me I should use the puppy bee more. Yeah, uh, sure, whatever you guys say. I didn't make, t I didn't mean to put my bees like that, so I apologize in advance. Hey, vicious bee should go at the top, right? Oh no, bear bee is still here. Okay, so this isn't a scuff painting after all. So star egg, why I love them in the bee swarm tester elements, because it gives you a new bee type every single time, and I have a hundred thousand of them, so they're very easy to discover new types with. And yeah, pretty much need all the bee types discovered. And for a mixed hive, you're going to be using pretty much every single bee that's in the game currently. So after I'm done building this hive, I'll try and do a little boost, see how good this hive is. So yeah, bomber bee, that's quite cool. Alright, now I should have 25 bee types and I can use the red cannon. And ignore the fact that I have the gummy baller, I'll replace that in a bit. Actually, I think the gummy baller is probably the most mixed tool. Because you have the red scythe, you have the tide popper, and none of them are like good for mixed hive. But the gummy baller might be. It collects like an equal amount of every single pollen. Yeah, time for me to buy up a bunch of these hive slots. I hate doing this because it takes so much time, as you can see. It takes like 20 seconds. That's such a waste of my time. But yeah, let me just equip the glider, the porcelain backpack, porcelain dipper, mondo belt, beekeeper's mask, beekeeper's boots. That was quite a hassle to say. Let me use a micro as well. Why not? I have 100,000 of them. Why would I not, you know? Just so I have a clean backpack. So if you guys didn't know the test roll mega boost has to be the most OP thing inside the game ever. In the test roll, I should say. Inside the main game, probably the most OP thing is the honey day buff, just because it gives you times two convert rate and times two pollen. Only because it lasts for two days. That's the OP thing. Hey, right, now that I bought all these hive slots, I should probably go up and use some more star eggs. And now the star eggs just give you a random bee, so I'll just use some gifted mythic bees and then I can fix my hive later. What I want to do now is try and kill the coconut crab. Actually, I just realized I have all level 0 bees. I should probably level them up. That would be great. Oh, and this is so satisfying. Literally every single bee goes to level 20. And I think I should probably get star saw because star saw is good for attack, you know? Now I can equip my singers in the inventory and slay the crab in a couple seconds. Maybe not a couple seconds, but quite fast. And I'm not sure what this guy's doing. I think this guy's boosting or something. Oh, and the crab is just stuck in one spot. Wow. I think on it made it like that, so it's easier in the test realm to kill it. Okay, this is so much easier. Wow. This is so broken. Look how much damage I'm doing. I'm doing like 50,000 damage per second, if not more. Or if not less. If you guys didn't know, the test realm has this thing where literally every single item you get in the crab, it spawns around. Like, look, there's just a giant circle of loot around the thing. So let me know if you guys knew that was a thing or not. Cause if you didn't, uh, I didn't know- I didn't know this was- Oh no, it's despawning. Oh, not like it matters, I just realized. I just remembered I have a hundred thousand of every single item. So it does not even matter. But yeah, let's just craft the coconut clogs, the coconut canister, and that's the only two things in here. Let's probably equip the canister. I didn't even craft it, bro, what? I'm getting robbed out here. I uh, go in here, craft the cobalt guard, craft the crimson guard, and the honeycomb belt because why not? No, honestly, I forgot what the best belt is. Oh no, it's a pedal belt. I'm kind of stupid. I right, look, I have a lot of caching up to do, okay? Next, I can get the gummy boots and the gummy mask. I think I will be rocking with the gummy mask for the mixed hive. That's probably the best bet I can do. 
Why not? I can get two of the best items in the game. And now I need the pedal belt from over here. Uh, let's craft all three of these items because why not? I can craft the pedal planter as well. But hey, who cares, bro? It really does not matter. I'm so rich. So now that I have every single best item in the game, I can start working on my amulets and my hive. I think first I should do my hive. So my plan is to pretty much get rid of all the useless bees like the brave bee, the rage bee, the fire bee. Bees that don't really contribute to anything. Actually no, fire bee would be good. But stuff like the um, demon bee, it doesn't really do much. The bomb conversion, yeah. So I'll just see what I think will work best with this mixed hive. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Let's get a little time lapse here. Alright, so I did a couple bees. Hopefully this is symmetric enough for you guys to enjoy watching. I'm not accidentally replaced my bear bee. I should probably put that at the top so I don't forget. But yeah, let me just make this gifted real quick to show you guys. I'm not sure if there's a perfect uh, mixed hive comp, but for now I have some stubborn bees, some bomber bees, some rascal bees. I think this is the rascal bee. Cool bee, bumblebee, and then I still have to keep working. So now I think I'll move on to the mythics because that's what everyone's probably waiting for. So I'll just do some blue bees on this side, I'll do some red bees on the other side, and I'll do the white bees at the top. So now I can probably move on to the precise and spicy bees. Oh wait, I gotta do some point bees on this side as well. I just realized. I don't want to do all tadpoles because that would be kind of messed up. Right, so I can do the spicy bees on this side, and then I'll just do one row of spices and then another row of precise bees. I think that'll look the best. And on top, I should probably do some vectors, and I will do fuzzy bees down the middle. I think that'll look the best. Yeah, I'll do a couple more vectors down the middle, and then the rest will be fuzzy bees. No, I think I'll just do fuzzy bees from here. I got a bunch of fuzzy bee eggs here, 100,000 of them. Let's just start hatching the fuzzy bees. It's actually so satisfying. I'm gonna turn up the sound. And you know, I'll honestly screw the vent bees, except the bear bee. I want the bear bee, but it's good. Yeah, Crimson, Cobalt, and Gummy. That makes sense. Because these are the three bees that represent each color. Gummy bee represents white color. Yeah, Puppy and Tabby. I'm sorry, AR. I'll have to replace the Tabby bee. My fault, bro. And that should be the hive, okay? It's kind of scuffed. It looks very scuffed. That's because it is. So yeah, pretty much. Let's just get into boosting with this. So hopefully I can make some decent... I just realized. I'm talking about boosting, but I don't even have good amulets. We'll just have to make all this gifted, make all these event bees gifted. And now let's just make some amulets. So what I'll go for is probably Gummy Saw because once again, Star Saw works for every single hive color. And dude, I'm actually so dumb. Like I already have Gummy Saw, so I'll just keep old. And the rest of the amulets don't really matter because red, blue pollen, it can, it can be red and blue. It can be white and blue. It could be white and red. So there's no perfect like amulet for mixed. So yeah, pretty much I have the perfect hive, I have some decent amulets, I have the best tools in the game, so let's just move on to boosting. So inspect the one shrine, and for the boost I'll do 27 gifted myth gags. Don't ask me about the number, it just came into my head. What, what is the most mixed hive color out of all these? Probably cactus. That's a bit of every single pollen, so I'll just do cactus, it's times 13, so that's quite insane. Do some little dice, I have a bunch of those. I gotta get the Supreme Sprinkler, just so I don't run out of pollen to collect. So place that, I got my singers here as well. Oh, look at this, werewolves are just like the one place. I think every single werewolf, or every single mob and beast swarm in the test realm is just stuck in one spot. You can turn on the honeysuckles, I still have no clue what they do to this day, but... You assume someone like me would know, but I really don't. I got cactus right here, perfect. I can use glitter, 100,000 of it to be precise, and do some enzymes, some oil, some tropical drink, marshmallow bee, and even a festive bean, because why not? And some cloud vials, of course. And star slot to collect the tokens. Yeah, this is, um, hopefully this makes me a bunch of honey, because if I don't, I'll be kind of sad. So already I'm making over 100 million per second, so that's quite cool. I mean, I should probably guarantee make so much honey just because uh, I have the times 5 pollen buff, times 10 capacity, times 5 loot luck, all that stuff. 
it really adds up, and it's so OP in the long run. Oh, look at the gummy baller. It's it's already over time is a thousand soon. Oh no, I lost it. That's sad. Let's the. I have no clue how the gummy baller works, and yeah, what is this thing gliding around, man? I have times 600, but only gives me times 1.07, uh, what is that, white pollen? Yeah, white pollen. Dude, gummy baller sucks. Maybe I just suck at the game, and I have no clue how any of it works. Yeah, someone's gotta explain to me how boosting works. But I'll come back to you guys when I get a gummy star. Oh, I got a gummy star finally, that took a long time. Alright, so hopefully I can fill this up. My goal is over 100 billion. I could probably do that easily. I really try. Okay, so I get my gummy morph in some time. So hopefully that is very soon. Dude, look how much pollen I'm getting. Over 100 million. No, I saw 700 million. That's crazy, bro. Okay, so gummy morph, please pop. Uh, while I have this gummy star. That would be great. You could probably get so much goo from that. Okay, one. Nice, I popped it. Can I get over 100 billion? Dude, I don't think I'm getting it. That sucks. I gotta remember to keep my star cell active, just because I am kind of forgetting to do that. Usually, you, when you're boosting, you have a macro doing that for you, but I, I keep forgetting, so it's whatever. And all these precise bees, I have no clue what the precise bees do or how they work. I know you gotta stay in the little circle, but hey, I'm curious about that. Do you think I can get another gummy star soon? Just because, I don't know, maybe... On it wants me to get some good luck. That would be nice of him. If he gives me another gummy star, I would appreciate that. You know, for the content, of course. Oh, I'm actually getting so much honey right now. Wait, it might go... Okay, it went to 900 million. I don't know how that happened, but that's cool. I should boost more in the test realm, because I forgot how fun boosting was. I haven't done the boost in so long. And I lost a sense of how to make honey, you know? During Beast Mess, I used to boost pretty much every other day, but now, you know, I don't have the time to. I'm a busy boy. Oh, I got another Gummy Star. Perfect. I mean, not really perfect. This is my Gummy Morph right now, so that's quite tragic, but hey, what can you do? Let's try and build this up. I'm gonna just use another Gummy Star, or, uh, Star Simon, just so I don't forget. It's over 10 billion now, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. This is a very slow boost. I could be making a lot more if I really tried on the hive, but hey, who cares, bro? The cool video. I've already had fun boosting, so... Can I get the gummy morph, though? That would be great. If I actually got a gummy morph during gummy star. That would be fantastic. Yeah, so this gummy star was about two times smaller than the previous one. 27 billion. I got an aphid. I used to call these guys alphids, but it's an aphid. Is that an actual animal? Let me look that up. Oh, it's an actual animal, and I just got a gummy star. I heard that. Wow, maybe I can get the gummy morph. Maybe if I was ready for that gummy star. I was basically googling if something inside a beast worm was in real life. So, hey, I got the gummy morph, but it's not doing anything, bro. What is this boost? It's so bad. Hey, someone's got to teach me to boost as a white hive, just because I have no idea how. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys did enjoy, you know, drop a like and sub with post notice on. It really does help support the channel. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.